Welcome to your Daily Dose of Theological German. We are on installment number six here in this book, The Cult Theology of the Letter to the Hebrews by Georg Gabel. And uh, if you watched yesterday's, you'll recall that we were finally getting into some real serious types of German syntax that are convoluted and complicated and fun to try to figure out and translate. And so, uh, well, let's have a look at today's. Okay, so uh, I could have added some more sentences to this, but I decided not to. I decided that uh, in light of some of the stuff we were doing in earlier work, you know, repentance is a virtue. And so I feel like we should repent for yesterday's sentence and just stick with the one sentence a day rule. And so here it is. This is now to be demonstrated. Uh, what can I say about that? That's such a simple sentence. I guess I'll just point out that uh, when you have a sein verb and then a zu plus an infinitive, it's the classic zu construction. And uh, oftentimes you need a passive voice translation, which is what I did there. This is now to be demonstrated. Although in German, it's very active and very exciting. Thanks for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed that. I really shouldn't have even commented, but, uh, well, you get a short one today.